Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroote from DQB, DDD.ca. Today's lesson is somewhere between intermediate and advanced. Um, we're going to be doing a craftsman column or a craftsman porch. If you're familiar with the term craftsman, uh, it's been known as arts and craft. All right, let's get started. I've actually started already with the uh, with the 3D. I just have a basic uh, four walls uh, for the house and the basement itself. I just did as a regular box. Same thing with the uh, underside. So what we're going to do, we're going to be doing uh, very similar to this here. We're going to be doing three different uh, items for the for the columns itself. We're going to be doing a lower, a cap, and we're going to be doing a column or the upper half. In real terms, you have the box itself, which usually has cultured stone on the bottom. Then you have the space for the cap on top. And then you have the column, which is either tapered or straight, or an actual column itself. Or you can actually taper off the bottom. Of course, uh, here's an example of the tapered upper half. So you have a box <coughs> for the bottom part, and you have a cap, and you have a tapered upper part. We're going to be doing this house here, um, mostly because I like it. Uh, we're going to change the brick here uh, into stone, and we're going to put. Um, so there's going to be two different types of columns here. I have one here, and second one, and then back to the first one again on the far right here. Um, we're going to be doing two different ones at the same time. So hopefully it's not going to confuse people, but I do have multiple uh, requests to do a very specific type of style. So let's get started. So we have our plan view. I already have a plan done, and we have our beams already put in. But the first thing you should do is always plan it out first. Try not to wing it right away. Um, I have an idea my porch is going to be two feet off of the grade. Our first box is going to be six feet tall. And the second one's going to be only two inches tall. And then our column is going to be three foot ten. So I'm just going to put this aside so we can actually get started on it. So, draw, solid, and cube. I'm going to choose uh, solid 1. The reason why I'm choosing solid 1 is because it's different from all the rest. I'm going to actually just click it in here, right, right, and then type in 2 foot. And the height is going to be 6 feet. I am now going to draw in uh, the second base column that I want. So I'm going to try doing it with uh, my favorite one, which is the pyramidal frestum. And this, I want to use a solid two because I want the control to change the uh, the texture if I chose to later on. So I'll just call it solid two for now. You've seen some people put in by the keyboard. If you hit the keyboard uh, on the arrows, you can actually put in the actual measurements just by hitting the arrow keys. Once you're finished, do not hit the mouse, just hit home on your keyboard. Alright, so we have an idea of what we want so far. Uh, the base of the column is correct, but the top looks a little narrow. So I'm going to change the top length and top width to 1 foot 6. 1 foot 6, and of course the height still stays at 6 feet. If you're not familiar with what you're doing at the moment, let's switch over to 3D and slip over. Let's go step back a little bit. So now we have the base done. Let's move along to our caps that we have on top. Again, I'm going to go back into draw and solid and again cube. Since one or two are taken, I'm going to go into solid three. I'm going to draw it on. I want it to be probably about two inches larger on both sides, so I'm going to edit this two foot two, two foot two, and the height is going to be two f two inches. And of course, we need to sit this thing on top of this six foot high column. So I'm going to type in six feet. And I'm going to copy this guy over. Copy. 
Now, of course, I would not leave it like this because my overhangs would be a lot larger. Because don't forget, our red area here is actually the peak of the of the uh, pyridyl firstum. Now, uh, what that is, by the way, it is a pyramid with the, the top cut off. What I have to do is reduce the size of our cap. It'll be one foot eight and one foot eight. The height is still two feet, and the common and the elevation offset is still six feet. We have that done. Let's switch, switch over to the 3D and see what it looks like now. Um, as a default, the shapes, the solids that come up, are normally this terrible bright blue. Um, here's a little secret uh, some people do not know. Uh, edit, surface, copy, paste. You should click on it, and I'm gonna. I like my concrete here. So I click on that first, and then click on the second. So it actually does do a copy uh, of an actual material. Good, we have that done, so now I'm going to put on our columns. Copy this column here. Swing it over. This one here does not have a column on top, so it actually continues the flow of the look itself. Okay, um, now we're going to put on our columns, draw, post, decorative, I'll just choose one here, the panels, choose a spot, as a default it will be a certain size, I've already forgotten what the height of the polygon is supposed to be, there's the th 3 foot 10, so uh, right right, and uh, column, well, now the depth is uh, one foot, or sorry, ten inches. So I'm raising that up to one foot four. The height is going to be three foot ten, and the offset is going to be six foot two because it's going to be sitting on top of the uh, the cap. So I have that done. Now I'm going to copy that over to this one. 12, let's get this thing in here. Now you probably should do this with a better measurement system than eyeballing it, but <laughs> just doing this for speed purposes. Okay, so I have that done. Let's switch over to 3D. Alright, so far so good. Now the main thing we have to do is create a symbol. So file, system library, and I'm going to add a new library in here. I'm going to call it My Posts. One step. Box it in. All right, and now I have my uh, Craftsman post done. So I'm going to type in Craftsman Square. Square, I know exactly what it is. And no, you do not link this up to a 3D, and I'll show you why. And since we have this open, I'm going to do this again. One step. Now, a lot of people say they get confused with when you go to start it and they go through the menu, it, it, it stops the command itself. Uh, that's all you have to do is either two things, is go around it, so I say I'm going around, or you can just quickly move it over and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to type in craftsman and hit OK and I'm going to hold down the roller mouse button and you see how I'm sort of sliding, I'm actually panning over. <clears throat> now I'm going to put on the same Craftsman square uh, without column. So we're going to see what this is going to look like. Uh, if I move one column, it actually will move the entire column because now this is one symbol. Take a look at our work. Okay, so there we go. I guess I could just put on some finishing touches here. And there you go. 
If you have any requests on how to do anything inside of SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca. Thank you so much for watching SoftPlan TV.